Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for Kitty Cat's Top 9! And now, here's your host, Shade Kitty Cat Feline! Hello there, Cold Boys! Shade Kitty Cat Feline here, and welcome to my first episode of Kitty Cat's Top 9, the series where I list down the top 9 things from least to most. Why Top 9? Well, I'm sure that'd be obvious to most of you. Anyway, for most of you that remembered my second Kitty Comments video, I mentioned that I tried a lot of exotic Cheetos on my birthday. And I did a poll on my Twitter asking if people wanted to see me do a video where I rate what exotic Cheetos I liked from weeks the most. And by two to nothing, everyone said yes. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Again, I'm not being sponsored by Cheetos, Wish I was, but I'm not. Anyway, on with the countdown. Number nine. Sweet and spicy from Korea. Now, before anyone says anything, it's not the Cheetos that were the problem. It's me. As I mentioned before in my last Kitty Comments video, spicy foods and I do not mix. I'm kind of surprised that my dad bought me these ones. He was the one who bought me these exotic Cheetos, and he knows that I don't like spicy foods. When I was trying them, he wanted me to do a blind taste test to see if I could figure out what Cheetos are what flavor. And when the sweet and spicy Cheetos came along, my mouth was on fire. So that's the reason why Sweet and Spicy is number 9 on my list, because it was just too spicy for me. I'm sure there are others out there who would like this more than me. I'm just not one of them. Sorry, Korea. Number 8. Ocean from Thailand. So this one is another spicy one that I tried. Again, it's not the Cheetos that were the problem, it's me. But the reason Ocean Cheetos are number 8 on my list is because it's not as spicy as Sweet and Spicy. I mean, it's still too spicy for my taste, it's just not extremely spicy. Then again, when I did the blind taste test, I tried these ones after I tried the Sweet and Spicy Cheetos. So maybe the space from the Sweet and Spicy was still in my taste buds when I tried the Ocean Cheetos. When I told my dad about that though, he confirmed that Ocean Cheetos are indeed spicy. Again, I'm sure there are people out there who would like these Cheetos, but for me, they are just too spicy for me. Although that's the case, I do like the design of the blue bag and the fun fish shapes. Number 7. Peanut Butter from Israel. Have you ever wondered what crunchy Cheetos would taste like without the cheese? If the answer is yes, then these peanut butter Cheetos will help you out with that query. I mean, when you think of peanut butter Cheetos, you think of the type of peanut butter that you put on bread, right? But that's not the case with these peanut butter Cheetos, because these Cheetos have absolutely no taste to them. They're basically like Cheetos without the chi, their toes. You can't really taste the peanut butter in these Cheetos. I mean, in some rare instances, you do get a bit of a peanut aftertaste, but these just taste like flavorless Cheetos. I wouldn't say it's the worst thing I've tried, but it definitely wasn't what I was expecting. On the bright side, I bet I know one video game character who would happily sponsor these. Hey, yeah, but... PEANUT, Peanut butter! BUTTER! Number 6. Cheese and Bacon from Australia. To be fair, my dad didn't get me these ones on my birthday. I wish he did though because of the movie we were watching that day, Combat Wombat. It's a movie from Australia that, to my knowledge, hasn't gotten an American release. And probably wouldn't. Personally though, I thought it was okay. But we're not here to talk about Combat Wombat. We're here to talk about Cheese and Bacon Cheetos. I just felt that not having Australian Cheetos for an Australian movie was a missed opportunity. But after trying a bag, I'm kind of glad that my dad didn't get me these ones. Don't get me wrong, they weren't terrible. It's just I could hardly taste the bacon in these Cheetos. They taste kind of like those planter's cheese balls, with a tiny hint of bacon. Overall, I don't think I'll miss these. But let's ask my guest from Australia what he thinks of these. 
Hey Blazy, what do you think of cheese and bacon Cheetos? Well for starters, it never crossed my mind that these are cheese and bacon <laughs> bowl flavoured. It never crossed my mind that the bacon part of it. Like, it was always just a name, cheese and bacon balls. It has like a nice nice name to it. It has a nice little wing that just rolls off the tongue. Because yeah, they're just like little little cheese balls. That's that's all they are, it's just little cheese balls. These are all we had in Australia for a very long time. For many, many years. All we had were Cheetos, cheese and bacon balls. Cheetos is not that much of a brand here. It was always just these ones. That's all we ever had. What we what I I think you guys consider like normal Cheetos is what we call Tristies. I'm pretty sure that's pretty much it. From the other flavors I have seen in like stores that sell like American kind of styled um, snacks, I'm pretty sure look like Tristies, which is an Australian brand I believe. And yeah, we only ever had these ones. Only recently in like last two, three years maybe, maybe longer, we finally started getting Cheeto Puffs. Which I know a lot of people like. I tried them. I hate them. <laughs> I hate Cheeto Puffs. But these things, cheese and bacon balls, yeah, it never crossed my mind that they were like meant to be bacon flavoured. Because they're just like little cheese balls. And I've always had a fondness for them. My, my dad always ate them. My dad always loved these. And so we normally always had them around the house. A great little snack to have like at parties and such. And you know, just get a big bowl, put a bunch of these in. They're, they're pretty cheap and you get a lot in them, basically. The only problem though that I find with these things is they're very airy. Very airy, so they're not very filling. And so I could eat this whole bag and not feel full. That's a problem I have. In terms of flavour, I quite like it. It's, just, it's cheesy, but then there is just that, I guess, that bacon or whatever, you know, that little extra flavour in there that it, it, you don't get sick of it. It's not like, I get sick of cheese real quick. I like cheese, but I get sick of it. So there's that little something in there that I for one do like. I, I am kind of fond of them. Plus these things are great to do the old trick. <laughs> Let's see if I can... <coughs> Nowhere close. <laughs> these are old classic of doing this little thing. <coughs> I had no idea where that went. <laughs> in conclusion, I would probably weight these a good 8 out of 10 in my opinion. They, they would be a 9, nine maybe even a 10 out of 10 for me. I always like these things, I always have. They would be if they were more filling, but they're not very filling. That is a huge problem I have with these things. So I don't get them very often because obviously if you want a snack, you want like something that you, you know, can make you feel full, you know, so you don't keep on snacking. But you won't feel full on these. I, I like them, very nice little, nice little snack. I'm gonna happily enjoy these. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, back to you, buddy. <laughs> Number five. Gentlemen, behold, corn. Yes, corn flavored Cheetos from Turkey. I've expected a lot of weird flavors to come in, but never would I have expected a corn-based snack like Cheetos to have a corn flavor. What makes these even more bizarre to me is the shape of them. I mean, besides the exotic Cheetos I'll be covering today, you would expect most Cheetos to come in a stick shape, a ball shape, or a fun shape like a pop. But these ones are in the shape of a little small pellet, like the type of pellets you'd see in dry pet food. How do they taste though? Honestly, they were okay. It tasted kind of sweet for Cheetos, Kind of like cereal. In fact, I bet that if I put this in a cereal bowl for someone without telling them what it is, they'll mistake it for cereal. On the plus side though, it's earned my dad's approval. Number four. Cheese and ham toast from Poland. Now these ones were quite interesting. When my dad popped this in my mouth for the blind taste test, I could actually taste cheese and ham in these Cheetos. And this wasn't the type of cheese you'd try from regular Cheetos either. This was a completely different cheese. Not sure what kind of cheese exactly, but I will say that these cheese and ham toast Cheetos were delicious, and I wish we had these here in America. I'd buy more, but unfortunately the website that sold these exotic Cheetos no longer has these in stock. Huh. 
So sad. Number three. BBQ from Japan. When you think of barbecued flavored Cheetos, you probably think of the type of barbecue flavor chips that we have here. In fact, that's what I was expecting when I first saw these on the internet. But surprisingly, they taste completely different. I mean, with the barbecue flavored chips that we have here, they taste kind of like barbecue sauce. But these barbecue Cheetos, they taste kind of like all that stuff Chester Cheetah has on that skewer there. Not completely sure what it is. I think it might be a shish kebab. If anyone from Japan knows what it is, let me know in the comments below, because I'm pretty curious about that. Whatever it is, I like these barbecue Cheetos. I feel that this would make a good side snack for lunch, especially with a Super Mario sandwich from Mike's Lair. Again, not being sponsored by Mike's Lair. Wish I was, though. Number two. Asado Hekesho from Brazil. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Anyway, when I asked my dad what Asado Hekesho means, he figured that it means cream cheese. But let's ask my guest from Brazil what it really means. Hey Sally, what does Asado Hekesho mean? Hi there, Cheetos Asado. Asado means bacon. Yes, this is Cheetos Asado Hekesho. Hekejo means Brazilian cream cheese. Ah, I see. That might explain why we don't have these here in America. After trying these though, I wish we did have these ones. Because these are absolutely tasty. It has like a small cheesy flavor to them, but not an explosion of cheese like the Cheetos that we have here. Not that I have a problem with that. Anyway, I love these so much that I ordered two big bags to be delivered here to my house. If you haven't tried these yet, I strongly recommend that you do. What about you, Sally? What do you think of Brazilian cream cheese Cheetos? Well, I love the wavy shape of it, and the flavor is really, really nice. It's one of my favorites of the Brazilian Cheetos, but it's not my favorite of all time. My favorite is this one, Cheetos Asado Mix with three different shapes of Cheetos. It's my favorite ever. And it's pretty common to have Brazilian flavored Cheetos. Cheetos is really a hit here in Brazil. And this one, of for the June Festival, this one is made of corn with butter. And this one is made of coconut. I hope you can try these all in your lifetime. From Brazil, I'm Sally Lauderdale with Cheetos. And the number one exotic Cheetos flavor I like most of all is... Ketchup from Israel. Why do we not have ketchup flavored chips in America? I mean, they're available everywhere else in the world, but not here. If we do start getting some, however, I hope these ketchup flavored Cheetos from Israel will be the first. Because these are just delicious. They taste kind of like a barbecue flavored Cheetos puff. No, not that kind of barbecue. That kind of barbecue. They miss a few ingredients that makes them taste like barbecue sauce, but I love these Cheetos. I especially like the shape of these Cheetos. I think they're supposed to be fangs since Mexico has Cheetos similar to these that they call fangs, but they look like claws to me. If anyone from Israel knows what these are supposed to be, let me know in the comments below, because I'm quite curious about that. Whatever they're supposed to be, I think the shape is really interesting. And because of the shape and the taste, these ketchup flavored Cheetos from Israel take number one in Kitty Cat's Top 9. Honestly though, it was kind of hard for me to decide where to put the top four Cheetos in my list because I really like those flavors and I would strongly recommend that you try those if you haven't yet. For any viewers from Brazil, Israel, Japan, or Poland that are watching this, congratulations on having these delicious flavors available in your country. If Frito-Lay would let me pick four exotic Cheeto flavors to release here in the States, it would definitely be those ones. Anyway, that's it for Kitty Cat's Top 9. Special thanks to Blazy Fox and Sally Lauderdale for joining me in today's video. 
If you'd like to check out their content, I've put links in the description to their YouTube channels and their Twitter accounts. Be sure to subscribe or follow them if you haven't yet. You can also check out Sally Lauderdale's content on our Instagram. Link is in the description below. Be sure to add her if you haven't yet. But what did all of you think of these Cheetos? Are there any that you've tried before and liked? Are there other exotic flavors that you recommend that I try out? Let me know in the comments below. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And be sure to look at my YouTube channel for more videos that I've done. This is Shade Kitty Cat Feline, bidding you good day.